So today's video is about how you can set up a highly converting landing page for your business using the Mailer Light account. So this is another video in the Mailer Light email marketing series. If you have not watched the previous series, I suggest you do so. I'll be linking them in the description box below. So I've been using Mailer Light for a while and I can tell you for a fact that Mailer Light landing page converts very very well. I mean, what do you say to it? conversion rate of 43 percent 46 percent almost 50 percent like so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can set up your mailer light landing page in order to get emails from people who will be interested in your product or in your services if any of my content interests you please make sure to click on the subscribe button down below and tap the notification bell beside it please don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and leave me a comment in the comment section so once you log in into your mailer light account this is what your dashboard will look like and then this subscription as you can see here my account approval level for this new account is 1000 that's because i have a website and um, i already linked my website to the account but if you open with um, a social media account then they might give you 500 but the main thing is that you get started with email marketing so right now um, this is the dashboard up here you can see the campaign subscribers form site automations upgrade this is um, the notification bell for any information then your own um, details so what you wanted to do is click on sites so for the site you have the landing pages and you have the website so the landing page is what we are dealing with right now so we'll just go to create landing page right now you need to give your landing page a name and um, before you go on with this sorry i need to say you need to create a subscriber group first you need to create a subscriber group for this landing page so that when people put in their email and um, name to subscribe to this landing page you will know that oh this particular set of people came from this landing page so let's go back to subscribers and i'm going to create a group so you click on subscriber you can see all subscriber segments groups field and all that so click on groups and then you come here and create group now i'm going to name this group example now this name is internal it's only you who will be saying it people joining this group through your landing page will not see it so now that we have created this example group we'll now go back to sites and then to landing pages and create landing page so now let's um give this landing page a name so for consistency sake i'm going to name it example also example save and continue you can always change it later if you want okay so here it is now it will ask you to select subscriber groups that was why we had to create this group earlier so just click on it and then save and continue you can select as many groups as you want but just one is okay and then it brings you to this page where you'll be able to choose a template so these are all the templates and they have about 38 templates that you can choose from and these templates range from uh authors hats announcement blogs deals events invitation you know just pick on anyone that suits your brand the most let's say you want to do something about blog pick blog if your channel or your website is about fashion or you need a landing page that is more about fashion you choose fashion if you're an author or you are sharing a book you pick author so uh i'll be trying to do the one for author so i'll click on author so this means that you are giving away a free book you know or something especially if you're an affiliate marketer maybe you want to give out a free book for people in order to get their email address 
so this is what you pick just make sure that you choose something that that is best for your brand so right now i'm going to try and look for which one to pick so you can preview i'll just preview this and um so this is what it looks like yeah it's so simple and i love that i love its simplicity let's try and check out other ones i know so you can just scroll down using this arrow and um, i mean scroll to the side and choose whichever one you want to choose i think i'm going to go with the first one so once you've decided on the one you want just click on use this template and this will take you to the next page so here is the page this is the landing page and as you can see these are things that you can actually edit all you need to do is to scroll down and then just click on anything you want to edit anything you want to change like this the ultimate guide to self-motivation let's say the book is about fitness you can say the ultimate guide to um to fitness you know something like that are you ready to finally do, do, do? you can just edit as you want add more words delete and do whatever you want to do to read and this for this uh part also where you are able to change the book just click on the pencil icon and you can edit the image you can delete the image altogether or you can actually replace the image so to replace the image you just click on this and then it will bring you to this um page where you'll be able to upload your image you know pick any image that you want and once you are okay with it you just click on it like click on it to select it and that is it and for the link also you can add an external link to this page maybe your website or your youtube channel or whatever it is and you can align it to the left to the center to the right and once you are done you click on save and if at any point you want to undo whatever you have done all you need to do is just click on this undo button so i'll click on it and it will show me everything that i have done to this landing page so you can actually pick whatever you want to undo so i want to take back this mess i mean this um this picture i want to return it to the previous one undo yeah that's it so once you are okay with it you go ahead and you save also for this you can see this is the email this is the name now for me i usually love my, the name to be on top then the email to be below so this is what you can do about that just click on it go to form that is where this get your copy button that's where it gets it you can just change this and just say um, send mine now as you can see it has changed here already and then once they click on the send mine now on the button you can choose to send them to a success page or to redirect them to another place let's say you want to redirect them to your website you can just place your web website in there and save and you want to redirect them to a success page which we are still going to talk about very soon you click on the success page now this is the field i mean these are the field email and name email and name so i want to i want this name to be on top so all i need to do is just to just let's click on this name and drag it up so name is now up and email and as you can see the changes have been made here too and if you want to edit it maybe you want the field to be something else the country the city you can add that and also it's important that you mark this field as important so that people don't just um if you want the name to be important so that people will not just ignore the name they will actually put in their name before they are able to proceed you go ahead and you save 
so still on this let's go to settings you can set the how wide you want it to be if you want it very wide medium or narrow you can show content card there's a lot that you can actually do you can change the content style like the the, the style of the words you can change the button color see this is red you can change it to yellow to green let's change this to blue see you can change it to blue you can change it to whatever you want just click on save every time you do anything on this page always make sure to click on the save button so that your uh, changes are saved now i don't need this so i'm going to delete it but if you need it you can just edit this picture and you know um replace it with your picture replace this also with your name and um, change whatever is here if you want and uh, you know everything but i do not need this so i am just going to go ahead and delete it this signature also you can scan your signature and impute it here i'll delete this i'll delete this and i'm going to delete this so i want it to just be one page i'll delete this also i'll delete this so it's just a one page simple landing page that i am doing so there's a lot that you can do with your landing page i'm just going to stop it here and then you go to your success page that is if you want your landing page to have a success page that means that when anybody has input their name and email and click on this then the next page they will be sent to will be the success page so here you'll be able to um edit this so you can edit it and put put your 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 picture and edit this also write more things you know and um if you want your signature here also you can upload your signature here i'm going to delete this now and um, the same thing we did for the landing page you can do here so you can change the the colors the background now this doesn't have a background image like the background is white you can add a picture and you can change the background colors so you can edit the image also you can make it to open in a new link you can add your website or whatever link you want to add here but at the end of everything always make sure that you save your work now that you're okay with it you can preview click on the preview button and it will bring to you your landing page like you'll be able to view it in desktop mode and also in mobile mode so in desktop mode this is how it looks like and in mobile mode this is what it looks like let's move that up yeah this is what it looks like so i'm just going to go back now So once you are okay with it you go ahead and save and publish or you can save it as draft but i'll just save and publish so now that it is saved and published this is the landing page url so this is what you are going to copy to send to people or to impute in wherever you want to impute it for people to click on and um subscribe to your mailing list um so these ones are just additional stops for google analytics you can do that if you want just make sure you save but i won't be going deep into that so you want to add any more page settings you had if not you just go ahead and save and continue once it's saved and continue this is the url that you copy and give to people or you put on your social media platform or wherever you want people to access it just copy it and paste and um, let's say you want to unpublish this is where you unpublish and if you already have um, a 
an upgraded account you can create a split test for this um, landing page so that you will know how many people are clicking on which you'll be able to test out two different landing pages that says the same thing so that you know which one is getting more traffic so let's try um, and check this out so I've copied the URL I'm just going to go incognito now so I'm going to paste the URL here that's the URL and see this is what people will get this is what they will see when they go to that landing page so let's try and see this um, great so this is the success page so that's it guys now you have your landing page so i'm just going to refresh this page now to see if the email has been recorded as a new entry so as you can see that's one email is showing now that's how you set up your landing page in the most easiest way so that's it guys i hope that is helpful thank you so much for watching and if you have any video requests please let me know by leaving it in the comment section below until next time when i see you in my next video bye